Oklahoma City's history is going retro. A new group wants to breathe new life into our past. The Fox 25's Phil Cross shows us how the project is helping museums protect the past. This is the station uh, at Yukon for the, the old interurban system, which incidentally was called uh, the Oklahoma Railway Company. Chuck Shin is our conductor to the past. If you were going to see what was on the other side of the hill, you went by train. But after nearly a decade cataloging history at the Oklahoma Railway Museum. We're reaching a time where a lot of that's going to be lost over the next uh, 20 years. Chuck has his eye on the future. And I'm an internet nut. I suppose there are a few 70 year old uh, internet nuts. The museum is working with a new group to put the history of Oklahoma Rail online. Museums need to create entrance and uh, and this is just another way of uh, doing outreach to, uh, to help us uh, be able to get our message out that we're here. What we're kind of trying to do is create a new model for the way everyone shares history. Retro Metro OKC's mission is education through preservation. We're kind of breaking the mold a little bit in the way that it's traditionally done. One way it's breaking the mold for the Railway Museum is actually by saving molds. These insignias, you know, they're just not around anymore. Retro Metro made sure the Frisco and Rock Island logos will remain after the bridges are torn down for the new I-40. The group is also making sure pictures and memories of life on the rails and all around Oklahoma City remain alive online. It's exciting. Um, you know, I. Everything is history, not just the, the big names you hear about every day, but every single person in Oklahoma City has some history. And by putting the past in the future, it's making history not so historical. Everybody enjoys learning about Oklahoma City. I mean, you know, it's our home. Phil Cross, Fox 25 News. I know I do. Well, Retro Metro is working with several museums to get old photos put online. It also wants people to go through attics and basements to find their own family's history and photos to share the history of the people of Oklahoma City's past.